Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Slay the Spire and Daily Time. What is there more to say than it is Daily Time? You should know by now. If you've been watching me for past 300-ish episodes, you should know it's Daily Time. Daily Challenge for July the 10th. Characters the Ironclad, Modifiers are Cursed Run, Green Cards, and Big Game Hunter. It is a high scoring run, probably because of Cursed and Big Game Hunter, probably because of Big Game Hunter. So let us begin. All right, so green cards can now appear. Uh, that's probably a negative for us, isn't it? All right, the most elites we can do? Two, three, four, <laughs> boy. Um, yeah, that's a lot of elites. That is a lot of elites. I'm actually thinking of skipping one just so I can upgrade a single card. A single extra card. That's basically, instead of doing four, I'm going to do three. And yeah, I'm actually going to try and do it. I'm actually going to skip the shop again. Uh, because there could be Cursed Candle there. A uh, Blue Candle, sorry, not Cursed Candle. And Blue Candle is important just to, you know, remove the curses that you're going to get. Right, out of the... Green cards, what do we want? Definitely not Sneaky Strike. Like, I, I could actually get Rupture, and I will. Primarily because we're probably going to get uh, Pain or something eventually. Eh, just play it to get it out. Uh, pain or Regret or any of those, because we do have Cursed Key. Yeah, well, I'm double defending here. I don't know what I was thinking so much. These fights, I kind of have them on autopilot most of the time. Uh, I actually could have struck in there. I didn't need to defend twice. I was still gonna heal six afterwards anyway. So, okay. I do want to shrug it off. So, true grid, there was a true grid, there was a true grid. There was a true grid. I should have taken the true grid. Anyway. I, I might still have the opportunity to actually pick up a true grid, so. You never know. Three strikes? Okay. That's nice. Put some in lethal range. Depends on what I draw. I did draw lethal. Okay, so do I want flex is the question. I am going to go kind of aggressive. No, I actually don't need flex. Because Dibu Doll is going to provide most of my strength. Please don't be a shop. Thank you for not being a shop. Alright, so I don't need the regen potion. But I guess it's better than a weakness potion. I guess it depends on the situation. Slime King. Huh. Maybe if you could give me like an AoE card or two or three. All right, let's kill this one. Attack one. Uh, probably one of these because I don't want to be weakened. Uh, I'm still going to be for at least a turn, but... Uh, the problem is the back one. I'm, I'm going to kill the back one. I'm just going to focus down the back one. Again, I don't want to be weakened anymore. That is very detrimental to this fight, being weakened. Or vulnerable. Or just anything. I can kill one of them. I will. It saves me five. If I blocked for five, I was just I was still gonna take five damage. It's better just kill him in that case. Maybe kill. Good. Oh, I don't have. There's my AoE, by the way. I don't have burning blood. I forgot about that. So good thing I actually took the regen potion. Right, rupture. Uh, rupture and then dagger spray or dagger. You know what? Dagger spray first because rupture doesn't have anything to trigger off of yet. Now, the issue that I have with Big Game Hunter is not that there's a lot of elites. I actually like that. Uh, the issue that I have with that is that it all the elites are going to drop rare cards. And we're not going to be picking up rare cards. Oh, I should not have. Alright, this enemy's dead. I should not have actually taken so much damage. There's a limit break. I, I don't want to pick it up. No, I'm not going to do it. All right, elite time. I can actually set up for this lead a little bit. But at the very least, remove the rupture. Get a bash out. That's not much. All right, there's the rupture. There's the bash. And let's pass. Next turn, we're definitely opening up. Ooh, with a dagger spray as well. Yeah, that's definitely happening. Now, right, let's see what we get. Uh, I guess I could take a dash. I don't need the slice, so I'll take a dash. It's like playing two defensive cards. 
while at the same time doing some damage. And this is mostly a DPS race, even though I don't want to take damage. Alright, bash and double defend here. Next, set, just set up for next turn. Come on, this is the turn. Thank you. Alright, enemy's dead. All in all, not a bad fight. Could have been a lot better. Could have, like, not taken any damage. Oh, the glass knife, the phantasmal. They would have, with the limit break, they would have worked insane. There's a Rye? Okay. So nothing to trigger the rupture yet. But that's not a big deal. Just saying. Alright, double strike, double defend. Oh, there's our first point of strength. I did forget to mention that. It's actually really good. And enemy's dead. Alright, that took a little bit. Don't need a disarm or a quick slash or an anger, so let's pass and go for the next elite. Ooh, the knob fight. Alright, I don't need these on the opening turn. I kept the rupture there because I wanted to play it just to get it out. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm still gonna take 14 though, wow. I could take only, like what, like 9? No, I'm gonna take the 14. I'm probably killing this turn anyway. Oh yeah. Oh, one more. Why did I pick that up? That was... Oh, that was really stupid of me. Um, That was probably one of the stupidest things that I could have done. Is pick up Omomori. Uh, it's that and probably Dead Branch. The stupidest things I could have done. Okay, keep the strike, please. One. Two. Three. Oh, that's not good. I don't like this at all. I needed to upgrade the Rupture just so that I can guarantee it's played. Oh, Omomori. I can't believe I got... I can't believe I picked it up. I can believe that I got it, I just can't believe that I picked it up. That's actually gonna slow me down so much. Okay, I cannot kill here, so... Focus down the back one. Actually, I'm gonna start a regen potion here. Alright, there's a bash. There's a strike, okay. One down. I cannot bash this target, so I'm just gonna... You know, just do normal things, just defend. I should have actually attacked the metal one. I can probably kill it. Ah, oh, really? This is the cards? These are the cards I get? Well, my regen potion did not work out that well. I might just get the two extra HP from here. Eh, let's see. Hopefully I got lethal this turn. I do. Good. Question card. And uh, there's an offering as well. Alright, 35 HP. Can we do this? Probably. Do I upgrade the bash? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, Gambler's Brew. Okay, don't need these. I'll keep these. Alright, yep. Yeah, that's gonna work. Alright, he's splitting at 70. But I'm gonna be gaining a lot of strength until then. Alright, so I'm not gonna split it yet. Yeah, this is the exact amount to split, so wait for next turn. I still have vulnerability. And yeah, that's a lot of extra damage. Alright, definitely splitting now. 19 HP. If I can just draw the dagger spray like really soon. Oh, never mind. Don't need to. The demon form there. Insane. I'm still I, I still could have done it without the demon form. Wow, double slime. But still, you know, that's just, that's a guarantee there. 17 damage per dagger spray. There goes the first trigger of Omomori. There go a lot of cards that I'm not going to pick up. Busted Crown? No. Uh, probably Black Star. I'm going to go, uh, there are a lot of elites, so Black Star is actually going to be really useful. Oh, please give me like a, a question mark where it gives me, you know, a couple of curses. Please, that is all I ask. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so three is the max. And there are a lot of rests down the middle, so that's where we're going to go. Yeah, down this way. For this late. Actually, I can go for this late as well. Two question marks. Yeah, I'm going to go there. And then we're going for here in the middle. And then I'll see. Maybe this one. Since three elites is the maximum. 
Come on, early dagger spray. I probably shouldn't be removing strikes. I, I'm probably going to play him. Yep. Yeah. You have the most HP, so I'm going to be hitting you. Come on. Thank you for the dagger spray. That is actually really helpful. Brings one to the ground and actually allows me to fully defend. Since I don't have burning blood or black blood or whatever blood, I just don't have it. Shrug it off into... I was about to say strike and then I realized I have no more energy left. I could take an intimidate. Probably should, right? Boss fight is... Champion. Well, Intimidate is gonna help. It is pre-upgraded, so it's two turns of weakness. You know what? I'm gonna pick up one. I normally don't, so... Um... Yes. I'll actually do this. I have no other way of healing, and that's actually a big boost. Too bad I don't have Molten Egg. Oh, they actually do one more damage? Really? Then a normal strike. I did not expect that, or at least I don't remember it being that way. Oh, weird. Should have bashed first, but it doesn't really matter. I actually should have double defended there. But I guess I do have bites now. I can play a little bit more careless. One bite. One dagger spray. Two bite. Three bite. And full. A fear potion. Probably over the block one. No. The reason I'm not taking the Fear Potion, I'm probably going to take a Pummel Strike here. The reason I'm not taking the Fear Potion is because the block po I The only thing I would remove from here is the Block Potion or the Energy Potion. And the Block Potion might actually save me the perfect of the boss fight. Um, this is not going to upgrade the um, Bites as a... I'm pretty sure it's not going to, and I don't want to remove cards, so let's start. Yeah, just upgraded the defense. I don't want to remove cards because, again, I want to pick up Curses, even though I picked up a Memory, which was kind of really stupid. For some reason, Steam was downloading something in the background. Oh, I like the inf the effect of the Intimidate. I really do. One, two, pummel. Oh, more bite. There, there's a dagger spray. Oh, wow, okay. I cannot kill here, so I should shrug it off, right? I should have shrugged it off first. Yeah. Right. Can I defend for 12? I can. I'm gonna still choose to do damage though. Even though that's not the correct course of action. One bite, two bite, and double defend. Well, the Centurion's gonna die next turn. Not even gonna b bother bashing. Gonna bash you though. Okay, so hopefully we can actually get Magic Flower here. Uh, because that will allow the Bites to heal for like 1 extra HP. Which is actually a big deal when you think about it. And I'm not taking Perfecta Strike. Or Quick Slash, so no. Dagger Throw, I might actually take Dagger Throw. Right, it's time that I started upgrading the Bites. I mean, I'm not really gonna upgrade the Shrug it off, so. Right. Okay, Book of Stabbing, uh, let's go. Shrug it off for, uh, uh, nope. Honestly, I was hoping uh, for a thing, uh, for a bash. Up oh, there it is. I ca actually cannot defend here. Alright, the thing is, though, it's actually better for me to defend for 8 than for to deal uh, 20 damage. It's because it's two less wounds. And I did apply the vulnerability. And the wounds here can actually kill me. Right, so am I going to defend? Okay, I need to deal damage. I'm already taking the wound. It's not about the damage. It's about the wounds at this point. Should have taken a little bit break, right? Mm, yep, should have done that. All right, here, I'm definitely popping the block potion. Yeah, but the, the, I don't have anything else to play, so might as well play the, the deep end. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Okay. That's how you want to be. That's a lot of damage you're trying to do. And I'm going to be taking all of it. 
That's a lot of wounds. Problem is, when the deck becomes filled with wounds, that's when it becomes an issue. There's Black Star triggering. Bottled Flame. Uh, probably a grand finale, yeah, I'm just saying. So normally I'd rather open up with a bash. Because I have anchor, yeah, I'm gonna put the bash. Even though, you know, Dagger Spray is just objectively the better card. Yeah, but still, you know, it's a bash. Probably should have focused down the, the back one. Uh, he'll die to Dagger Sprays, eventually. There's the Intimidate, play that. There's the Rupture. Keep biting, keep biting. It's only 16! Can't kill. I don't have the energy for a... Alright, bite. Bite. Keep nibbling. Keep nibbling. Ugh. Still not dead. Do I bash? Yeah, bash. A bash and a bite. Essence of Steel, okay. Not taking Caltrop or Masterful Stab or any of those, so let's continue. Finally, all memory is gone. I would have had two extra strength by now. Alright, keep upgrading the bites. Because I am gonna be using them for kind of a while. Elite time. Um, okay. Actually I should keep that and remove one of these. Oh, there's an intimidate. That's actually really good here. Now, I do want to kill this one, but I can't. So I'm just going to kill that one, just so I can take less damage. Because I don't want the weakness. The weakness is the thing that can actually kill me kind of quickly. Oh, you see, I cannot kill a, uh, a single bite now. I am slowly healing up, though. Come on, attack! Use the attack! And pass. Oh, really? And I just drew my dagger spray. Well, I gotta kill at least one of you. It's not about taking the damage. It's about... Mm, I could've actually... No, I, I wouldn't... I wasn't gonna perfect, let's face it. Not to that. I really don't want to take the uh, weaknesses. I definitely need to defend here. Again, I don't want to die. Just saying. Right, finally I'm not weakened and I shouldn't have drawn a card. I keep drawing my Dagger Spray on the wrong turn for some reason. But yeah, it is time that I just go all in on this one. He's gonna be dead next turn. Uh, the block though. Maybe dead next turn? Ah, he still does have vulnerability. There's a dagger spray. Come on, something good. Letter opener and Tori, okay. <sighs> Double tap, glass knife, adrenaline. Those would have been really good. It knew, knew. I gotta have those extra points. Right, so new blue candle here. I could card remove. No. Mercury hourglass. Pen nib is probably something that I'm definitely gonna take. I'm not going to remove the raw eye. That's not happening. Dex potion? No, I'm just going to use the power one. I guess I can take Mercury Hourglass. No, there's a second uh, question mark here. It could be something else. Mercury Hourglass might be useful, but it's not as useful as a Blue Candle would be. Alright, there's the Rupture. Definitely bashing you. And I'm going to single defend. And Tori triggered, of course. It's gonna be 20. It's not gonna be enough though. I'm gonna defend only once. I'm willing to take a little bit of the damage because he exactly Tori. Oh, wrong move. Actually, should have double bit there. <laughs> Oops. Oh, there's the whirlwind. Ooh. Too bad I can't upgrade it. Should I bash here? No, I'm not going to. It's just better if I get my AoE out. That is a lot of damage. So this is going to do... Uh, 
18, so it's not going to kill anything. I'm still going to do it. But... Oh, the pen nib. Okay. <laughs> if I had known that was going to happen, and I should have, because, you know, I can actually see here, and I can actually count to 10 at the very least. Okay, so this one's gone. But, you know, on the bright side, uh, I actually haven't lost that much HP. <laughs> Well, there's always a bright side to things. There's always a silver lining. Alright, bash, dagger spray, bite. Uh, never mind. Fossilized helix, insane, and prayer wheel. Now I just need the, um. Uh, mm, uh, the singing bowl. Oh, I, I forgot the name, okay? Right, whirlwind. Needs to be upgraded. Has to be upgraded. Now give me a demon form again. <laughs> Even though that's going to be extremely unlikely. Give me a demon form. Well, thank you. I have no words. I, I mean, thank you. Demon form will just uh, make me a little bit stronger. That's too much. I cannot actually block that. He's doing too much. I can actually do it. I want to save my buffer. Yeah, this is more damage. I do want to save my buffer. Buffer is very important. That could save me the Beyond Perfect. Okay, play that. Play this. And yeah, just play everything. All right, sooner or later, I'm going to have 10 strength and you're going to go down quickly. I don't want to apply this yet. Do I need to bite? Nope. Oh, he's going to purge soon. You call that a weapon? Um, yeah. Alright, I cannot defend against this. 12, 4, it's not enough. 16, so, yeah. I mean, I could still do it, but it's still gonna hit the buffer. Even if it's one damage, it's still gonna hit the buffer. He's purging now. So let's try and do as much damage as we can. Oh, that was a pen nib. If I had actually counted, if I had actually checked out here, you know, up here, I could have known. I could have killed. Well, I couldn't have killed, but... Yeah, that's fun. Uh, that's enough to kill, isn't it? Definitely enough. And this boss fight perfected. There we got a shame, so that is our second curse, finally. I can actually take Runic Dome, uh, but I won't. I don't want to take this. I don't need... I, I could use an extra point of energy, but I don't need it. And Runic Pyramid is a no-no in a curse build. A Pandora's box is just going to... Probably do me one over. So new, no, that is not happening. Nope, never happening again. I've been burned way too many times by Pandora's box. Even though it is fun most of the time, eh, you get burned, especially on Ascension. A Runic Dome, though. I mean, I know most of the moves, but I really don't want to take Runic Dome because of the moss creature. That is the one thing. But I actually want the curse this time. Yeah, but I'd still want to see when I'm getting cursed. Yeah, so I'll keep up. Yeah. Whether you want or don't want the curse, you want to see when it's coming. Because you either want it for the extra strength and extra HP, or you don't want it, so you still want to see when it's coming. Yeah, I don't know. That's just my, my two cents. Right, the maximum I see is three, and I actually see a nice path with a bunch of question marks. A meaty shop here, like a really late shop, which is actually still nice. And that's about it. Couple of rests, like one. Yeah, two rests. Three elites there. What a bunch of question marks. We could have an elite here. You never know. Oh, nope. Nope. I want to play that. And we're bashing. We're bashing you. And we're attacking you. Sure. I just need to get Pen Nibble Whirlwind. That's it. And there goes the buffer. Speaking of Whirlwind, should I play that? I just got to deal 30, so it's not really going to kill all of them. It's just going to kill one of them. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, just this. That's it. That's the only thing I'm doing. And hopefully draw it early? You, know, you never know. Could happen. And you. There's a the shame. There's a the pen nib. Uh, what a waste of a pen nib. Dagger spray, please? Or oh, Warwind, okay. I'm happy. 
I could take headbutt, I could take prepared, for now I'll skip. Mm, no, 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 no. Not a lot of defensive cards. I could take prepared though, just for curse removal. I don't have blue candle yet. Yeah, I'll take one and move on. Come on, elite fight. Uh, I actually want the red mask. It's a way to remove artifacting and yes, I'll do this. Let's see what we get. Blind. Uh, or this. Impatience is actually not bad, I guess. Second deep breath? Nope. Dramatic entrance? Uh, nope. What, what's the boss fight? It's still in Decca, so I can actually pick up Finesse. It does, Finesse doesn't have a negative. It, it just, it's just two free block every time you draw it. I'm gonna need a lot of AoE before doing in Decca though. So if I actually get an option to pick up a Cleave, I will. And the blind. I'll pick up the blind and upgrade it. I think it's gonna have a huge use in removing artifacting and negating damage. I don't want seconds though. Otherwise I'd pick it up. It's extra AoE. Okay, so Runic the Dicahedron can trigger because we do have a bunch of uh, bites. Ah, that's an early shot. We actually have one more, so I'm actually... How much money would I have until then? Mm, depends on what's there though. Should I take it? Normally purity would be a good option here as well. Just saying. I really don't need the extra energy. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Because my next shop is kind of far away. So it's fine. I'll still have around 300 gold. Double defend? Wow. Okay. Oh, thank you. Double defend. Yeah, I'm just going to do this now. Yeah, I'll take a little bit, but it's fine. I deal so much damage that it's actually worth it. Probably. I don't know. Is it worth it? Bite. Blind. I eh, probably should have blinded that one. Oh well. Like, I'll heal up till 66 sooner or later. Oh, you see? Just two free block. It's probably a bad idea. Intimidate, sure. Really? Shame again? Out of all the things? I think I'd rather kill a and take a little bit of damage. Again with the flex. I could take a battle trance, but I won't. The Dagger Sprays are taunting me now. <laughs> They're taunting me, I tell ya. Oh, big giant head, okay. Alright, so replace this. We're definitely bashing here. Bashing. No, I will defend just so I can keep the buffer because the big giant head tends to do a lot of damage most of the time. After the fifth turn, of course. Rupture. Yeah, you know what? Let's prepare. Sure, sure, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna take one on the buffer. I didn't want to. That was a pen nib. Mm, probably should have saved that. Finesse, blind. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do this. We already have a blind, so intimidate sort of, um, you know, pointless. Especially because of the fact that I will be upgrading the blind. Right, this, blind. I'm actually not going to play Shrug it off here. I just need to deal damage. Yep, there it goes. Here comes the damage. Bash. I should have finessed first. Could have been a little bit of extra damage. 18. Yep, definitely dagger spray. You know what? I, I think it's time I use the energy potion. I really shouldn't be hoarding it. It's just better if I deal a little bit of extra damage because the big giant head has ended way too many runs of mine. Okay, pen nib time. Uh, it's gonna be... 90, barely? That's not good. Oh, 120! Oh, of course it's 120. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, but it's true. I'm an idiot. Because 4 times 3 is 12, not 9. You shouldn't really calculate by 3 when you you should be calculating by 4. No. Definitely not taking those. Yep. Time to upgrade the blind. I mostly took it because of artifact removing. And it will allow me to actually weaken them from time to time. Don't end deck, of course. I'm talking about don't end deck. Oh, I don't like this. I need to kill both of these. Speaking of which... Yeah, two energy is actually more than enough to kill him, so... 
Might as well, you know, apply vulnerability. Uh, okay, 30 damage, okay. I think I'd rather kill the back one. Speaking of I'd rather kill the back one, never mind. Well, let's remove the shame. I'm actually not gonna get blue candle this run, really. Or 25 relics, judging by things. Okay, next one's a pen nib. Bottle lightning! Definitely the blind, right? We're actually the intimidate. Yeah, just get it out of the deck. Self-forming clay ancient potion. And oh, there's a feed. So many good cards that I can't take. There's a doubt. That is our third curse. So I actually need one more curse if I wanted the curses modifier. Because somebody, you know, not gonna mention any names. Picked up Obamori. I'm just saying. I actually need one more chest from somewhere. I don't know from where. I just need one more. There's a shrug it off, okay. Yep, that's it. Okay, now I cannot deal any damage. But I can still heal. I got four block. I guess that's something. 45! Really? Can I kill here? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. One, two, three. Just block as much as you can at the very least. I'm not really uh, healing up as much as I hope that I will. That I would have. Wow. Okay. Have it your way, game. I get it. You don't like me today. I get it. I get it. I get it. Some days I don't even like me. The pen nib there, uh, hmm. Not that helpful, honestly. I mean, yeah, it helps, but enemy's still alive, and I'm actually taking up too much damage now. Alright, I have way too thin of a deck, and I still want to have blue candle, so. Uh, I should have thickened up the deck. I should have. I should have. I didn't, but I should have. Oh, bash, bite. What exhaust? Intimidate does... And that's about it, isn't it? I will pick up the dead branch. There is over 25 relics. Okay, please be a chest, please be a chest, please be a chest. Yeah, there's a reward of relic here, but they, the, this fight is kind of deadly. And I mean, what relic do I really need at this point? Maybe Vajra for the extra strength, but I really need a curse. Oh, I'm not even going to get the curses modifier. That, that's just great. Here's an oddly smooth stone. Smooth stone that is oddly. Wait a minute. What did I just say? A stone that is oddly smooth is what I was trying to say. Probably could have picked up Red Skull as well there. Hmm. Yes, no, maybe? Ah, who knows? Let's go. Oh, no. All right, remove this. Bash, rupture, intimidate, of course. Uh, curse. Oh. Okay. In a normal circumstance, that could actually work. That's a pen name. I wonder if it's gonna. Tr yeah, it should trigger if I play the whirlwind. It does tick up even if I have no energy, so it's gonna count. All right, time to use the ancient potion. Is the Constriction going to hit before the Doubt, is my question. Hopefully the Constriction hits first. Nope, it's the Doubt. Of course it's got to be the Doubt. Well, I'm going to take uh, one hit on the buffer. Bash. Bite. Explosive Potion. I could actually take a Finisher. Or not, no. Probably a Rage, though, for the extra block. Well, I'm going to upgrade the Rage here, and uh, I'm not feeling very confident. It's just because mostly because I lost the Curse's modifier. It's because of that one mistake, that one little tiny mistake that I did. 
Alright, so there's no point in bashing here. So I will up maneuver, actually. And surprisingly, I'm actually not gonna take damage on the first turn, okay. That's kinda nice. Too bad I didn't have, like, a strength potion or a power potion or something. Alright, so this is not gonna provide much block to me. So I should, you know, still, like, do this, do this. I do have the extra energy there from, um... Whatchamacallit? From... I forgot the thing! Um... Outmaneuver! 42 block, wow. I'm surprised at that, I really am. Alright, so there goes the artifacting, finally. Problem is, here I'm actually gonna lose the Beyond Perfect as well. Not just the, uh... Not just the buffer. Because the first hit is not is gonna be negated by the buffer, and the second hit is just gonna be taken. I don't have a choice. I did not draw a single defense, so. Right, well, at this point, I'm just gonna remove the doubt because it's more important that I actually do damage than survive, <laughs> because I have already failed. Yes, I consider this a failure, by the way. I really do. I'm just gonna defend here. I consider it a failure because there's two things that I didn't do. I lost the Beyond Perfect, which is... It does happen. It's one of the hardest things to do. This is gonna hurt. That's not good. You know, uh, getting Beyond Perfect is hard. It's not the easiest thing to do. That There's a reason it gives so many points. But the other thing is uh, really, really being... You know, clicking just on the more, getting on the more, just... No, no, no. That's something that... It, that's a big no to me. All non-attack cards, so I might actually want to use those. Because I want to keep them. And I'm going to use this, because why not? It's actually, they're actually going to replace themselves because of the seven, uh, because of the dead... Deadly branch? Dead branch? Yeah, it was a dead branch, wasn't it? Yep, dead branch. Can I kill you, like, pretty please? Like, I don't know how, I just, I just need you to die. Thank you, finally! Can't believe Gremlin Horn actually triggered. Alright, the dazes. Um I should have thought about that. I didn't. This should be interesting. Uh bite. That's a pen nib. I should defend at least once, right? That is a lot of damage. Yep, let's do it. Defend a little bit. Okay, so rooting the Dicker Heater actually did not trigger since we picked it up. Which is a sort of interesting fact. You know, it just didn't trigger, and the rupture was a dead card all the way through. You know, first we do this, then we bite, then we do this. Okay, so I am I, I'm not dead. Should be fine, yeah. Well, that's the fourth curse, but we are short one. And because I actually picked up the uh, bites, I am low on HP, so I'll not have the stuffed modifier. I might have wolf fed. No, I won't. 1,040. Yeah, that's a lot of points less than what I should have had. Oh well. Yeah. No beyond perfect. We got power purple, but that's about it. No Highlander? The bites? I don't have any duplicate. The bites count, don't count towards Highlander? That's something I didn't know. I thought they were... They were like common strikes. Huh. Alright, so I, I, sh I should have known that. I didn't. This is the first time I've actually heard of this. Weird, isn't it? Oh well. So that's 100 less points. <laughs> as well. So Curse is 100, Highlander 100, I think Highlander was 100, and Beyond Perfect 100, that's 300 less points, that's 300. We're gonna be in the top, uh, I'd say three, around 350, I'd say around 350. Let's see, but it's gonna be around 350. At two, 293, okay. Yeah, uh, that was basically like, yeah, 300 points less than what I could have gotten. I still wouldn't have been like... Uh, the, you know, top, top, uh, at the very least, second page, you know, top 50, top 100. For now, though, uh, my name has been Rapid Mystic. You've been watching Slate Aspire, and I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all 
in the next one.